The Baikal Amur Main Line, also known as BAM, is a railway passing through eastern Siberia and the Russian Far East with a length of 4,300 kilometers. The Baikal Amur Main Line runs parallel to the Trans Siberian Railway from 5 to 700 kilometers north of it. BAM crosses three time zones, seven mountain ranges, and more than 3,500 water courses. The railway was under construction for half a century, from the laying of the first rails in the 1930s to the official commissioning in the late 1980s. This was the most ambitious and the most expensive project of the Soviet Union. It was grandiose in every way, from its cost to the engineering difficulties that the builders had to face. In this video, I travel almost 1.500 kilometers by passenger train from Tinda to Komsomolsk on Amur. My journey begins in the town of Tinda, the unofficial capital of the Baikal Amur main line. The town began to grow in 70s with the construction of BAM and reached its maximum population of 65,000 people in 1991. For over the next 30 years, after the collapse of the USSR, the population of Tinda has reduced to 33,000. In Tinda, there is a museum of the history of the Baikal Amur Railway, where you can get acquainted with unique documents and interesting facts about the construction of the century. Another attraction of the city is the building of the railway station, designed by Moscow architects in 1986. Passenger train from Tinda to Komsomolsk on Amur runs daily. The so-called Orient Express consists of seat, platzkart or third-class sleeper and second-class sleeper wagons. Total travel time to Komsomolsk is one day in 13 hours. Along the way, the train makes more than 80 stops at almost every station. The Platzkart wagon is a golden median between comfort and price. A ticket in such a wagon from Tinda to Komsomolsk costs 2,200 rubles. A few minutes after departure, the train crosses the river Tinda. This is one of the biggest mountain rivers in Amur region. On the junction ahead of Bestuzhova station, one of the tracks deviates left, being the continuation of the Amur Yakutsk mainline, which merges with the Baikal Amur railway in Tinda. Most of the stations where the train stops look like this the building of the station duty officer, and several random constructions around, along with outdoor plumbing. Often stations have nothing but railroad infrastructure. Sometimes they can even be controlled remotely. The train stops at almost every station along the way, and quite infrequently someone gets off or on in the middle of nowhere. Usually these are station officers, railway workers, hunters or fishermen. Also, you can notice service trains at many stations that work on the modernization of the Eastern BAM. The modernization program of the Baikal Amur and Trans-Siberian Railways until 2024 includes $15.5 billion of investments to increase the railway capacity in the Far East region. The big river along the train route is Gilui. Its length is 545 kilometers. The river is meandering and the train passes over it several times. Two hours after departure from Tinda, the train arrives at Mariwe station. The distance to Tinda is 95 kilometers from here. The railroad appeared in this area in 1977. A year later, active construction of housing and infrastructure facilities began in the village of Mariwe. The majority of 570 locals work on the railroad. Mar, in Russian, means a swampy area covered with a sparse forest. This type of natural community in Russia is typical only for eastern Siberia and Far East, due to the presence of permafrost, which retains moisture on the surface of the solid, which contributes to the strong moistening of the territory. The train arrives at Unaha station. At first glance, this is unremarkable sighting. However, 
One of the North Korean labor camps was located nearby. This was a whole Korean village. They had a sign here that said Kim Il-sung lives with us forever. The North Koreans cut down the forest here, working practically for free in difficult conditions without any connection with civilization. According to the map, there is a branch track from Unaha station to the camp where timber was presumably loaded into railway wagons. In the building of the train station in Unaha, you can notice bay windows. Behind them the station officer controls the movement of trains. Bay windows were installed to eliminate necessity for railway workers to get outside, as bears and other wild animals can walk around. In Siberia, there were cases when bears attacked railway workers and killed them. Railway workers usually do not have rifles to protect themselves from wild animals. Being unarmed, they can only scare away animals with sound devices and dogs. The next big station after Tinda is Dipkun. Train stops here for 12 minutes. The settlement of Dipkun with a population of 2,300 people is located 170 kilometers from Tinda. Life in the village is tied to the railroad and logging. Among the infrastructure in the village, there is a school, a kindergarten, a hospital, a police department, a bank branch, a music school and mobile connection. I managed to access the internet in Dipkun for the first time in three hours after departure from Tinda. Another long summer day was ending, while our eastbound train was smoothly rolling through Taiga. Half past midnight, the train stopped in Verkhnizeysk for 35 minutes. Verkhnizeysk is a tiny settlement on the banks of the Zeya water reservoir, formed in 1980 due to the construction of the Zeya hydroelectric power plant. Having passed the bridge over Selemja river, the train arrived in Fivralsk. The settlement with a population of 4,500 people lives off the railroad and logging. Fivralsk was founded long before the construction of the railway. At the end of the 19th century, the Russian Empire encouraged the resettlement of peasants from European provinces of Russia to Siberia with land allotment. One of these migrant groups settled on the banks of Selemja. The peasants arrived here in February so the new village was named Fivralsk. New life began in this remote village with the construction of BAM. In August 1974, the construction of the railway began by railway troops. By the end of the 80s, new housing, shops and schools had appeared here.
My train runs to next big yard. Freight trains let us through every now and then. BAM significantly increases the capacity of Russian railways, but both by Kalamur and Trans-Siberian railways operate at the limit of their capabilities. with a population of over 6,000 people is one of the largest settlements on the eastern section of Baikal-Amur mainline. The construction of the village began in 1974 by young Ukrainian communists. The station in Novy Urgal works with transit traffic, servicing mainly coal trains to Vanyanasia port. <laughs> The village of Salani is located 50 kilometers from Novy Urgal. It was built by Tajik Construction Brigade and has almost no difference from other villages on the railway. The 1,852 meters long tunnel was laid through the Dusse Alin Ridge. Its construction began in 1939 and was stopped twice. The tunnel was finally commissioned in 1982. In December 2021, construction began on the second Dusse Alin tunnel, scheduled to be completed by 2025. At 9 pm, the train arrived at Gerbe station in the village of the same name. This was one of the last villages built on BAM before its commissioning in 1986. Today, this is a home for 285 people. The second day of the trip is almost over. Before going to sleep, it's time to enjoy the rhythmic sound of the wheels.
7 o'clock in the morning, the train arrives at its terminal station in Komsomolsk on Amur. This is one of the largest cities in the Russian Far East, with a population of 240,000 people. The distance to Moscow from here is 8,700 kilometers. Komsomolsk is a large industrial center. There is a junction station of the baikal Amur main line, a shipyard, oil refinery, steel mill and aircraft industry. In addition, Komsomolsk has a river port and universities. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content that I create, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to follow new videos. See you!